Kogi State Government has commended the Federal Ministry of Communication and Digital Economy for establishing an Information Technology Innovation Center in the state, saying the innovation is, is all the initiative is in line with the readiness of the state to deploy ICT in addressing development gaps. The project is among a series of other projects that will boost information and communication technology across the state. And joining me now to discuss this is the Kogi State Commissioner for Information, Kingsley Fangu. Uh, Mr. Fangu, it's good to have you join me right now. Now, can you make us understand this, I, great, this ICT center that has been established in the state? How is it going to enhance development? Can you break it down for us? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it is uh, called the Information Technology uh, Innovation Center and it is um, uh, situated at the Kogi State University uh, uh, in Ayaba. It is aimed at uh, ensuring uh, Kogi becomes one of the uh, ICT hubs in the country, and it is um, uh, to serve as an, an incubation center uh, for excellent ICT research and development in the state. All right, so what do you, what do you hope to see a change? What, what, what will change going forward if this is up and running? What, is, what, are we, what new are we going to see? Yeah, it, it, it is going to, it, the, the establishment of the uh, Information Technology Innovation Center is in line with the Governor Yahya Bilo uh, administration's commitment to use ICT uh, to address some development gaps in, in the state. And in view of um, the, the pandemic that has ravaged the economy of the world, uh, the world is moving gradually to uh, the digital economy. So it is hoped that this will be able to spark uh, a lot of research activities into how uh, we can use ICT to be able to uh, develop our state, uh, create employment opportunities, and um, a, a host lot of others. Uh, this is not uh, the only one that uh, is being done in the state. Uh, very soon, uh, we'll be launching uh, the emergency call center uh, that is also built by the Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy uh, in the state. Uh, the, the facility is going to be commissioned by uh, both the minister and the executive governor of the state, Al Haji Yahya Bello. And the emergency uh, call center uh, is going to address uh, a number of issues. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's going to help us in. Um, ensuring security uh, in the state because you can call the emergency centers even without having any call cards on your on, on your on, on your on your phones and it's it's going to deal with issues of armed robbery uh, accident fire accidents uh, domestic violence and uh, even people who go to swimming pools to swim if uh, they are drowning they can call the emergency centers and ambulances will, will surface immediately that is what is happening in Kogi State uh, using ICT. So we hope that in the, in the next couple of weeks, uh, that center is also going to be uh, launched. All right. Uh, t talk to us basically from the area of getting everyone on board. We know that when it comes to ICT, not everyone is that savvy to be able to manipulate and understand all of those. But is there going to be any training for especially people who are within the civil service and all of that to, to get on board? Talk to us about that. Yeah, we've, we've started that already. Uh, we've, um, uh, we've uh, collaborated with Gogu and uh, a number of uh, uh, Gogu accredited uh, partners to train uh, our civil servants. We've started from uh, the Kogi State Ministry of Information and Communications, and a good number of our people uh, have uh, been uh, certified to be competent to, to handle some of the facilities we are deploying. Uh, I, I would also like to tell the world uh, that Kogi is the first, uh, is going to be the first in a couple of weeks to deploy an open governance and, and accountability system. We call it uh, the Kogi Open Governance and Accountability System. The system is to ensure that the citizens of the state uh, participate fully in the activities uh, of government. So uh, we, we, are, we are doing a lot to be able to ensure that we train our people to be tech savvy, to be able to uh, operate some of these simple gadgets and use that uh, to end living and also participate in the activities of government, which is um, uh, the essence of governance in the whole sense of it. So we are doing a lot in terms of training. We are training our staff. We are going to train all the civil servants uh, in the state. That is the responsibility uh, of the Ministry of Information and Communication. All and right. We are living up that responsibility. Okay, we have to leave it here now. Commissioner of Information, uh, Kogi State, Kingsley Fangwa, thank you very much for talking to us on TVC. Thank you.
Thank you.